as we dive into Ye's controversial run, it is essential to examine the highs and lows of this journey, the consequences of his action, and the potential for his redemption. While his controversial remarks and suspension have sparked outrage and division in the past, history has shown that Ye has the capacity to reinvent himself and deliver a great project. We saw that happen after the whole Taylor Swift debacle when he returned back with my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. 2022 was a crazy run for Ye because he embarked on a crazy controversial run that put him in a public spotlight. Known for his bold statements already and body pushing artistry, Ye's action throughout this period sparked a crazy debate and ignited a storm of controversy. One of the main significant gimmicks was that he was making anti-Semitic remarks, which garnered criticism and raised concerns about his statements. A lot of people don't notice, but Ye was working on a project in 2022 um, throughout this whole period with the controversy. Um, the album was supposed to be played at SoFi Stadium, similar to a Don The One rollout with the listening party um, layout and the whole concept of listening parties. Um, it was supposed to follow that. Um, they had three shows booked for the SoFi Stadium and all three got canceled. Now we do have some type of intel on what the album consisted of. Some people call it one of his best work, um, his best work since like, I don't know, Yeezus or something like that. Yes, I've heard someone say that. Those are not my words. Um, but we did get some songs that were supposed to be on there, um, such as Maintenance, um, song Future and Future. I believe that song was supposed to be on Donda 2, um, but it just didn't make the cut. And knowing yeah, he takes songs that he had planned for other albums and he like, modifies them and changes them makes them sound completely different um and it adds them to like a future project um another song would be 88 bass guitar which is a reference track by young lean made for yay i don't know if yay had plans or intentions to hop on this song solo or with a young lean feature but if you go on youtube and you type in 88 bass guitar you'll find a young lean feature now or what do you track. think a new kanye west album will sound like we did get news that Ye is in Japan working on a new project um, confirmed by Ruga, a Chicago artist. Um, Ruga did work with Kanye on Donda 1. Um, I think he did work with him on Donda 2. Um, so let's see what a new 2023 20, version or potentially 2024 version of Ye that we will get. I'm really interested to see what type of route he takes. Um, like I said, last time he came back from a big controversial period, he produced one of his best projects ever. And history repeats itself. I'm expecting a Ye that's gonna change the game, whether it be music, whether it be fashion. I believe we will get some type of impactful product um, from Ye in the upcoming year um or two years whenever he decides um it's a good time to drop let me know what you guys think are you guys excited for a new yay album do you guys want new yay music i personally do i feel like every time yay drops the game changes the game is more exciting and by the game i mean the rap game music industry um you know we still got our you know heavy hitters like drake um and stuff like that but when yay's in the game the music industry just feels better and complete and if coming from this run, when everybody thought he was done and he rises, it'll be a great, great comeback story. And I think Ye will never disappoint his day one fans. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.